going on this game, man? I don't know if I'm the only one that has noticed this recently, but it seems like there has almost been this renaissance of people who have suddenly come out and said, I love Japan. I feel that especially applies with a lot of YouTubers, Twitch streamers, and online personalities and celebrities and stuff like that. All of a sudden, these people that I thought had absolutely zero connection to Japan are coming on out and saying, hey, yeah, I've always loved Japan. I love going to Japan. I've always wanted to go to Japan. I love Japanese things. Yay, Nippon. And look, I might be calling out these people somewhat in a very facetious manner, but in all honesty, I fucking love that notion. I mean, as someone who is half Japanese themselves and has been living in Japan for half of his life and basically deals with Japanese things, Japanese otaku culture things on this very YouTube channel, I couldn't be any happier to have a bunch of new people who are suddenly interested in things about Japan and wanting to come to Japan, things like that. It makes it a lot easier for me to relate to these people. And I feel it's because of that that I've had the absolute honor and amazing privilege to befriend a lot of amazing content creators, a lot of which I highly look up to as just regular content creators, but also a lot of them, not gonna lie, kind of idolize. But idolize and respecting aside, I wanted to actually see how much these Japan lovers, quote unquote, actually know their shit about Japan. So what I decided to do is put my Nippon thinking cap on and create the ultimate Japan quiz and test some of my YouTuber and streamer friends to see who knows the most about Japan. And I don't want to try and make this sound like a flex, but this might possibly be one of the most insane collabs that YouTube has ever seen. Ethan, Dogen, Aaron, Jack, Ludwig, Charlie, Jimmy, Felix, Kaho, Tech. Welcome to the ultimate Japan quiz. Wait, you didn't tell me it was the ultimate Japan quiz. You just said it was a Japan quiz. Japan quiz. Thanks for having me on. I love the Nihon. Crown me already because I'm I'm winning this. I don't know why I went in so confident. I know I'm going to suck at this. Oh my god. It's going to be so embarrassing if, if I fail. Not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous, Joey. Thanks, man. I, I feel great being filmed and you can't see me and I can't see you. It's me alone with the camera and your voice. I like Japan true, but the weeb stuff is only so I know what my audience is into. It's actually cultural studies. It's homework, really, for my stream. Perfect. I'm excited. Is there, like, a prize if I win? You win the love and affection of the Japanese people. What? Every single one of- Okay, this is high stakes. Holy shit. Okay, okay. This is a quiz, as the name suggests, that will be used to test your knowledge and expertise on Japan. And you'll be going up against several rather large YouTubers and Twitch streamers to fight for the right to be called the king slash queen of Japan. <laughs> Okay, I kind of want the title. That sounds so cool. I feel like I'm setting myself up to be roasted by weebs here, but let's do it. If I fail, if I get a score less than like seven, I am going to have to like commit seppuku or something. Live on camera, right here, right now. The outro of this video is just a live seppukuing of Chris. <laughs> With this blue pen. Let's do it. Which quintessentially Japanese dish actually originates from Portugal. A. Sushi. B. Ramen. C. Takoyaki. Or D. Tempura. Give me the definition of the word quintessential. So... <laughs> <laughs> it's not ramen and it's not sushi. I'm gonna say takoyaki. That's right on the ocean, right? Portugal, it makes sense that they would be catching octopus there. My thought process is, as far as I know, traditionally, fried foods in Japan are not super huge. I might be wrong. I am going to go with tempura. I actually thought that it was the Netherlands or something, but I knew that tempura wasn't from Japan originally. I was like, okay, well, as long as it's tempura, then it's probably that tempura. Easy. I don't think ramen would be the answer because Portugal's a hot place and I don't think they'd be eating soup all that much. Let's go with tempura. I feel like it can't be sushi or ramen. Like people would talk about that. It'd be like a fun, annoying fact you would have at every ramen or sushi spot. I'm gonna go with tempura 
final answer. I could just be the biggest idiot in the comments go wild, but I actually think it's ramen. And my thought process is the noodles. I think I'm gonna be a real fucking dummy if I get this wrong, but I I'm going in. I'll, I'll go in dick in hand. I'm ready to go. I I'm going for it. Ramen. It's C. I thought sushi was introduced from Norway. If I watched that YouTube video that said it. Or was it the opposite? No, it came... Fuck, I'm done. Okay, I'm inclined to go with tempura. The tempura. Oh, wow, very confident. Yay! <laughs> 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 oh. All right, well, f final answer? Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to say takoyaki, which I believe is fried squid balls. The correct answer is D, <sighs> tempura. Darn it! Ah, I had no idea what the heck you were saying, so I was just trying to pick which one would be the hardest one to guess. Ah, yes! Okay, sweet. Hey. Ah, God, that was my other... Woo! Let's go! Oh, I'm the greatest Japanese YouTuber! Let's go! There's no octopi out in the Atlantic Ocean. I was actually gonna say it's either that or tempura, but I didn't want to put any kind of, like, stakes on it. I wanted to just go full in. Yes! Yes! Oh, oh yes! <laughs> one down! Shit, that was my backup answer, dude! Shit! That's what they all say when they get the question wrong. That was my other answer! Even before I've read out the, the choices, you just knew that. I thought this was the ultimate quiz, not the I googled quiz questions before I did this quiz and then put them in my quiz. Which of these car manufacturers is not Japanese? A. Daihatsu. B. Lexus. C. Hyundai. Or D. Nissan. I hope this is just a freebie. I think I've got to go for the obvious one. I'm, I'm going to go Lexus. B. Lexus. Lock it in. Lexus does not sound that weep, right? Lexus. B. It just is the one that sounds the least Japanese. C. Hyundai. Lexus sounds super not Japanese, but the fact that you brought it up makes me nervous. I think... Hyundai? I think that's Korean. I'm gonna go with Hyundai. Yeah, it's Nissan, I think. C, Hyundai? It doesn't really sound Japanese. Hyundai, I don't even know how to pronounce that. C, Hyundai, they're a South Korean company. Lexus is Japanese because Lexus is the luxury version of Toyota. I think Hyundai is Korean. Hyundai. It's Hyundai, they're Korean. The correct answer is C, Hyundai is actually a Korean brand. Ah, oh, gosh dang it. People in Korea are gonna be like, obviously that's in Korean, you idiot, you stupid idiot. To be fair though, like, until I did this research for this quiz, I had no fucking idea Lexus was Japanese. I thought it was like European. Yeah, all right, see, hear that everyone? I'm, I'm only slightly stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I mean, it'd be awful with all of this Ghibli stuff if I was just like, went in too wrong. I didn't know Lexus was Japanese though, that, that, and like when you said that, I was like, this is a trick quiet. Dating someone from Korea for four years helped a lot. There was nothing but Hyundais and Kias everywhere. My brain is so sync right now. Do, do you see a lot of Lexi in Japan even? <laughs> is that the plural form of Lexus? <laughs> oh my god, next you're gonna tell me Ford was actually started in Japan. Yeah, it's actually pronounced Ford. <laughs> no way! I thought Nissan was French. I, I hear it like the name Lexus so many times in the commercials on TV, so I assume like maybe God, some Japanese company would think English name so cool. I mean, Lexus is so American sounding. All right, feeling good. Hot start, hot start. Now, question three deals with everybody's favorite mm -hmm. Japanese thing, and that is, of course, Anime. Oh no. This is my downfall. This is where it begins. <gasps> I love that. I love titties. Give me one piece. <laughs> That'll be the easiest. Out of these four anime series, which is the longest running? A. One Piece. A. You don't even have to say the other ones. I'm picking A. Are you sure? I, I, I can, a, I can lock it in. I don't want to hear the rest. B. Yu Gi Oh! C. Detective Conan. Or D. Crayon Shinchan. Crayon Shinchan. I'll go with Crayon, the, the Crayon one. I'm going to be really angry if it's One Piece because I know that's the biggest selling, but I don't necessarily think it's the longest running. I think it's One Piece because I've heard about how many episodes of One Piece there are and it's like pretty ridiculous. Well, I feel like One Piece is the is the gimme, so it's not right. Nobody really thinks about Detective Conan or Crayon Shinchan, and I feel like Crayon Shinchan is like such an oddball. Like, why would you throw that in if it wasn't true? So I'm going to go with Crayon Shinchan. I'm just going to go with the obvious. My brain went to One Piece immediately. I said it before the question. I'll just lock in One Piece. It's probably wrong. I'm 100% sure it's Detective Conan. 
Aren't there like a million of those? I'm gonna go for it again. I'm going for the obvious one. I'm going with One Piece. I think Detective Conan's been running a long time, but I I know that it hasn't been constant like One Piece has. I think it's Shinshan. I know when Detective Conan started. I remember when One Piece started. I don't remember when Crayon Shinshan started. I would say Crayon Shinchan. It's Detective Conan, 100%. I know this one. The correct answer is D, Crayon Shinchan. No! Out of these four, One Piece actually has the least amount of episodes. Oh my fucking god. This yeah, is- this so. is- <laughs> Yes! Congratulations! Fucking yeah. Hey, there you go. Ba boom I logic my way out of that one. I thought Shin-chan was like done. I thought it like stopped. I got started! I thought it'd be so funny. Dude, I was just trying <laughs> to look cool. Yeah! <laughs> I saw that on Adult Swim. Back when I was in like third, fourth grade, there was only like 20 episodes. So how many episodes is there? So Crayon Shinchan is the 15th longest running anime series in total with 1,168 episodes as of this video. Detective Conan comes two plays after that with 1,068 episodes. Yu-Gi-Oh! then comes one place after that at 18th place at 1,023 episodes. And finally, in 21st place, we have One Piece with 978 episodes. And that's just 15th. Do you know what the, the number one longest running anime is? Is it Hello Kitty? I don't think many people outside of Japan know because it's very culturally rooted in Japan, but it's this show called Sazai-san. It follows the daily lives of the Sazai family. It's been going on since the early 60s, and as of right now, it has over 7,700 episodes. Fantastic, and I've seen not a single one of them. Japan turns which of the following into renewable energy? A. Stationary bikes. B. Leftover sushi rice. C. Footsteps at Tokyo train stations. Or D. Crowd noises at sumo wrestling matches. Wow, I have no idea. <laughs> How can you turn noise into energy? If that's happened by now, then... The Trash Taste podcast would generate billions of tons of energy. If I'm thinking good energy source, millions, I think like two million people pass through Tokyo Station every day. If you could harness that foot power right. into energy, you could power like a light bulb or something. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Fuck. I didn't get this right though. <laughs> Tokyo train station, foot energy. It's, it's got to be that one. Come on. The footsteps and the train station. I'm just trying to think of how that technology would work. I have no idea. I'm going to go with the bikes. Final answer, the bikes. I think I, I heard something about the Tokyo footsteps one. So I'm just going to go with that and say final answer. <laughs> it's the train station one because I think I remember hearing that. Okay. So you're locking in footsteps at Tokyo train stations. Final answer? Yeah, it's either that or rice. Well, which one are you locking in? <laughs> Why would it be specifically sushi rice? Because of the vinegar? No, it's the train station one. I would say that they would never leave over sushi rice because it's rude to not finish your rice. Let's go with stationary bikes. I know I'm wrong. I'm just gonna say, if they aren't using C, I don't know if you came up with that, that's brilliant. It's so smart that I'm gonna lock that one in. I feel like it has to be the footsteps one. I don't think anything else would really power it, like stationary bikes, crowd noise, it's sumo wrestling. I don't know how popular sumo wrestling is. Well, I don't know if it'll be a clue to you, but sumo is the national sport of Japan. So it's it is. fairly oh. popular. You said you don't know if that'd be a clue to me, so that's gotta mean something. I'm piecing together some puzzles. Oh my god, this is tough, man. This Oh, I'm such a- I'm going for it. I like to believe that Japan is extremely futuristic. I'm going with footsteps at the train station. B. That's the only one that actually seems feasible in my head. Let's go with three. That sounds cool to me. I want that to be real. <laughs> Sumo wrestling fights, you can- it cannot be that noisy. I'm like, it's getting- losing some popularity over the years. I would say one. I myself am assuming electricity. C is footsteps on a Tokyo train, which I could believe because if they were to put like a treadmill underneath, they could use that as the power and how noise at a sumo wrestling. I feel like if that technology existed, I would be more aware of it. So I'm, I'm going to go with C. What is Japan, man? The correct answer is C, footsteps at Tokyo train stations. I was going to say that. I've been a battery the whole time I've been in Tokyo station. Hey! Hey, mama freaking me! I'm a goddamn Japan master over here. Oh! Yes, let's go! Let's go! 
Thank God there are options to pick from. <laughs> there are special floor tiles that capture vibrations that are generated by footfall, which is then stored as energy. And then that energy during the day is used to light up electric billboards around the city. That's Mecha Jozu. Footsteps, how does that, I don't, no, you know what, I don't even, I don't even want to know how that works. Just hit me with the next one. This makes me want to go to Tokyo uh, Station and just like jam it out, break dance and shit. And be like, there you go, you're welcome. Tokyo is well known to be the largest city in Japan in terms of population. But yeah. what is the second largest? A. Oh no. Yokohama. B. Osaka. C. Nagoya. Or D. Kyoto. I don't know. I'm gonna go with <clears throat> B. Osaka. That's the only one that I recognize outside of was Kyoto one. And for some reason in my mind, I have no idea if this is true. Kyoto is like a tourist destination and it's not as highly populated. It's just like a place that people go. Uh, it's Nagoya. There's a lot of people that live there. There's a whole like uh, film industry there. I don't know. It's like the Los Angeles of Japan. I don't like going with the obvious answers because I feel like it's going to trip me up. So I'm going to go away from Kyoto and say Osaka. I don't know B, so I'm going to ignore what I don't know because I fear it. So I'm in between A and D, but I'm going to go with a. I was gonna say Osaka before you said it. I, I'm pr I'm pretty confident in Osaka actually. Lock that shit in right now. Osaka. Kyoto. D. Like I've had some friends that have gone to Japan and I remember them saying that word and like when you said that I got a little deja vu. So I'm just assuming that means it's bigger. Well Kyoto is always like what people see as Japan. Like a touristy place, but I'm not sure if it's actually more populated because of that. Osaka or Nagoya would go, but I'll go with Nagoya. I think that was Yokohama. I think we talk about it in history or like a society class, so I would say one Yokohama. Okay, final answer? Yes. Now, if I were a gambling man, I think I've picked C too many times. <laughs> I probably should have picked that one again. And it worked out last time, so it probably you probably wouldn't have put two C's in a row because I'm gonna have to go psychological on this one, Joey, because I have no idea. <laughs> this man's playing the meta game right now. Okay, fuck it. I'll go with B, dog. Osaka, because that's the one I know the most. So when people say that, you know, Tokyo is the largest city in the world, they're actually talking about the Tokyo, the greater Tokyo metropolitan area. I imagine that the reason Tokyo is able to get up to that point is because the next city over, Yokohama, must be significantly big as well. If not, then I don't think that would be enough to push it over like Mexico City and other like really, really big cities. Say Yokohama, hopefully my logic isn't too off. That question is correct. You're fucking with me. You're fucking with me. Nah, you got it, man. You got it. Oh my <laughs> God. I don't even know where Yokohama is. You know what's the great thing about this quiz? You might get a question wrong, but you're learning something. Yeah, I give me a tour guide over there after the after this test conclusion. Yeah, exactly. You'd be like, did you know Yokohama is the second largest city? You'd be like, whoa, how does he know that? <laughs> you just fucking go wild. Honestly, I, I there's zero shot I was getting that one right. Well, I was dead wrong then. <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so great about myself. How have I never heard of that? I've never heard of that city ever. That's crazy. Well, are you uh, slightly impressed that I knew that Kyoto uh, is a tourist destination? I am very impressed. Wow, <laughs> thank you, you so You much. did very good, but you got the wrong answer. So fuck you. Let's move on to the next question. It seems like everything I pick is the worst option. So I'm gonna start picking the thing I would least pick. Which of the following facts about Japan is not True. A. There is one vending machine for every five people in Japan. B. Japan's birth rate is so low that adult diapers are sold more than baby diapers. C. Japan has the second highest amount of McDonald's restaurants after the US. And D. If you commit suicide in Japan by jumping in front of a train, the family of the deceased will be charged a disruption fee. I think there's more McDonald's in like, I don't know fucking Europe or China or something. I believe Europe is not a country, but would you like to lock in C anyway? I'm not saying Europe is a country, I'm just saying that there's a lot of McDonald's there. Sure, there is, but there's also a lot of countries in Europe. <laughs> I feel like I've heard the diaper one before, so it's gotta be the McDonald's one. I know there is a lot of vending machines. Can't be for five people, it must be like 50 or something. That doesn't make sense, that'd be like... 
20 something million vending machines. Is that mm. possible? God damn it, this is a stupid question. This isn't fair. And I know there is a lot of McDonald's's. McDonald's's? <laughs> McDonald's I. I don't know what the plural of McDonald's <laughs> is. Ah, fuck it. It's got to be A. Because I think, while that's close, I think it's more like one vending machine for every, like, ten people or something. I think you've you've been a little, a little bit sneaky there. I just have a hard time believing that Japan is after the U.S. and nothing would come before Japan. I'm going to go with the McDonald's one. I am already regretting it, but I'm going to go with the McDonald's one. The cogs are turning in Dogen's brain right now. <laughs> I think that the vending machine one is kind of like a trick question because... Japan is notorious for having a lot of vending machines, but to me, one for every five people feels a bit too much because that would mean something like 25 million vending machines in Japan. And that feels just a little bit too much. I'm going to go with one, the vending machine one. The, the one about vending machines, I don't know if it's an actual fact or if it's like the numbers are slightly skewed in that fact. So it's either... See, that one sounds true as well. I'm going to go with the... Oh shit. I'll go with the adult... No. <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> uh, let's go with adult diapers. Please don't be true. Okay, I'm gonna say that the last one's true because you would be fucked up if you made that up. <laughs> what was A again? The first one, A is there is one vending machine for every five people in Japan. I believe that. I just believe, I, if someone said that, I'd be like, yeah, that sounds right. But I don't believe C. So you're going to lock in C. Japan has the second highest amount of McDonald's restaurants after the US. Yeah, it's like third or fourth, I bet. I'm pretty sure the US doesn't even have the most McDonald's in the world. So that's the one that's kind of getting me on edge there. So I'm going to go with my heart. I I think it's the McDonald's. I, I really do. I'm pretty sure the US doesn't have the most McDonald's in the world. I, I don't know who does. Maybe it is Japan, but I'm going with McDonald's. I think it is, uh, I think it's C. My gut's telling me it's the McDonald's one, but here's the thing. My gut's been completely wrong. So I'm going to <laughs> then uh, and assume the McDonald's one is true. And because okay. I'm most confident in the train one, I'm going to then say the train one is false. I feel like I've heard that vending machine fact before, but may I think the number was like 10 or something. <sighs> I don't know. Guess well, Felix. I feel like you're tricking me with the vending machine one. The vending machine is a uh, red herring here. I'm picking it. Get it out. I know a lot of non-Japanese people get surprised like there are like, a vending machine everywhere where Maybe in another country, some gangster would just smash the vending machine and try to take the money. It says how safe Japan is, so I want to believe that A is actually true. I would go with the second one, B, diaper sink. Oh man, B and D are so believable. Because I know they did something like that back in the day. They used to execute people uh, with a golden bullet and then charge the family the price of the bullet. I don't know what country did that. <laughs> that sounds like something Japan would do. Yeah, it's very anime. I'm gonna have to go with B because I know the birth rate in Japan is abysmal because with how high quality hentai is in Japan, the majority of people are probably just jerking off rather than banging and having kids. Okay, so you're locking in Japan's birth rate is so low that adult diapers are sold more than baby diapers as a false fact. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh shit, wait, only one of these is wrong! Yeah, only one of these is false, and you have to tell me which one is false. Oh, the false one! Okay, I believe that one. See, that's the one. I'm sorry! <laughs> the lie is actually A. There is one vending machine for every five people in Japan. There's an actual statistic for that though, isn't there? Yes, the actual statistic is there is one vending machine for every 22 people in Japan. See, it's because I heard a statistic that was that rhythm and I was like, oh yeah, so that's the one. The thing is, is when it reaches a fuckload, my mind turns off, right? Cause it's already at a fuckload. <laughs> so if it's a fuckload more than a fuckload, that's still a fuckload to me. So it's a trick question. <laughs> okay, that's a lot different than I expected. So. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Josh started. I thought my strategy would work. There you go. I knew it was the wrong number. You sneaky snake. We're diaper wearing ethnicities. Oh my god. Shit, dude. I really thought I had that. Which of these bizarre festivals does not exist in Japan? A. The belly button festival. B. The crying baby festival. C, the farting festival, or D, 
the penis festival. I know the penis festival is real. The farting one feels real. <laughs> I want it to be real, that's or my answer. I'm gonna go with the baby crying one. If you think of the Buddha statues, they have their bellies on display a lot, so you, you think they could tie that in. And the C one, that's just the sort of Joey the Anime Man festival, isn't it? <laughs> That can't be real. No, it's got C's not real. <laughs> the penis festival. I'm going to go with the crying baby festival. Final answer. Because I feel like the other three are weird enough to actually be festivals. I can't remember the Japanese actually, but it's like the oni, like the oni. People will dress up in those and then they'll like scare kids and like in in the west i think people would be like well that's like a traumatizing thing that's weird you know like i mean you shouldn't to be do fair, that to I kids i don't blame them for thinking that way that it is pretty fucking traumatizing yeah i'm gonna say that the fart one is not real let's go with the farting festival because i feel like that's the most disruptive and unfortunate festival out of all of them penis 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 Farting and penis. I'm gonna keep those in. Belly button, eh, I don't really know what the whole appeal of a belly button festival is, but maybe it's more like crop top season and they're just, they have a funnier naming convention for it. Oh, I might regret this. I think it's one of these two and I think I might get it wrong here. All, All right, hold up. what are you looking in? Uh, I'm, I'm flipping a coin. All right, heads, I'm gonna say it's A. Tails, I say it's B. Heads, A, final answer, belly button festival. Crayon Shinshan is all about ass and stuff. I, I'm sure there's penis and farting there. The belly button one just sounds like a fetish at one of the adult conferences. My gut has been wrong every time so far today. So let's go against my gut. I want to say belly button, but I'm going to go against it and say baby crying. Final answer. My gut's telling me it's the penis festival that doesn't exist, but my gut's wrong, so I'm going to go with the farting. Festival. I can't even say this without laughing. I feel like the farting one seems least Japanese. Lock in farting, get out. I understand a berry button, like it's connected to a baby. Baby crying, like it's like, I don't know, it's out of health, like if they're healthy. So I would say, yeah, see? It's the most devious. B, the crying baby, lock it in. I'm not here to play games, I'm here to get results. Japanese people probably jerk off the belly buttons. Farts are funny. The correct answer was actually the farting festival. What? Yep. Japan farting? does not have a farting festival. Oh man, I was ready to fucking book a flight for it. I just assumed that was absolutely there. We can start our own farting festival in, you know, some kind of parking lot and just be like, come on in, just, you know, come and fart with us. That's a Joey festival through and through. I'm embarrassing myself. I'm embarrassing myself. Why can't I ever get nice things? Let's get the vagina festival going. Yeah. Like e equality. Yeah, exactly. Come on, Japan. Whip your vaginas out. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like good family fun. Hey! My, my thought deduction finally worked! That's just too gross. Too gross for you in Japan. I appreciate that. Have you been to the penis festival? Just be honest. Yeah, I, I made a video there, actually. I haven't seen that one! The anime man penis... <laughs> oh my, that's a really bad thing to Google! I'm gonna go... <laughs> Which of these numbers is considered evil in Japanese culture? You don't even need to give me the multiple choice. I know it. It's four. She, because it means death. A, the number three. B, the number four. C, the number 13. And D, the number 69. <laughs> nice. 13 is bad luck in the States. The number four in Japan is either yong or shi. And mm. shi has the same pronunciation as death, shi. Mm. It's four because of the, the word she meaning death and sometimes if you go into buildings the number four is missing i think it's b the number four for some reason in the back of my mind that is a fact that i know it's four joey and i'm gonna lock that in because that's the death number right four lock it in i'm gonna go gut on this one i'm pretty sure it's four in the last question i learned that there's a penis festival so it seems like they're very open to genitalia so i don't think 69 would be a problem 13 that, I know you, you're tricky. You're, you're so tricky. You tried to trick us with the One Piece one and a few others. Like 13 is a problem in America because of that horror film, but no, no one over there cares. You're just trying to trick me. You think I'm stupid. So we're eliminating oh. those two. And my gut says okay. three, but my gut's always wrong, which means I'm going with four. I'm locking in four. Uh, I, I think four. I would say B. 
four because it sounds like death in, in, in Japanese, which is actually my lucky number. I end up getting some like lucky things happening to me with the number four. I guess I can see three being evil and not to mention, I don't think you put A as an answer yet. And this is my eighth question. So mathematically, I should get this one right. And maybe three turned on its side. No, three is the marking of the beast. The three claws. Three, a hundred percent. Hey, lock in. That is incorrect. <laughs> what the fuck? The correct answer is four. The reason why the number four is an evil number is because there are two ways to say the number four in Japanese. The most conventional way is yon, but another way is shi, and shi in Japanese means death. Yo, I love this. I just literally picked the exact opposite of what I think it's gonna be. But like, I was like, I was for sure it wasn't four, but I was like, fuck it, I'll just pick it. King of Japan, here I come. I don't even know where I heard that. It was just somewhere, somewhere in my mind. There you go, you knew that. You're so Nihongo Jozu, Aaron, that you didn't even need the multiple choice. Dude, I'm, I'm Jozu as fuck, dude. I have done myself proud, and that's all I'm here to do. If someone's like, yo, you wanna go to dinner at, at Shi? Would you be like, this weirdo? I don't think this is a regular dinner this guy's taking me to. <laughs> thank God I needed that one. Ah, thank God. What about number three? Like, is number three bad for uh, in any other languages? Leave some comments. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Japan is known for its wide array of public transport, but especially its trains. But what is the average delay time for trains in Japan? A, 18 seconds. B, 52 seconds. C, 1 minute and 21 seconds. Or D, 2 minutes and 4 seconds. I feel like I knew this before, because I feel like I read something about the trains being delayed like marginally, like 20 seconds, and people complain to the government about it. So I'm gonna go with the lowest number and say 18 seconds. I think it really must be 14 seconds. I don't think I've ever been on a train that was late at all in the eight, nine years I've been here. A, 18 seconds. I'm gonna go with A, 18 seconds. It all seems very efficient and very, very planned out. For all of Japan, it would actually be, probably be 52, most of these articles, they probably actually only gather data from like the ma the major train lines, or they, they chose to use the data that just reflects the largest or the smallest number in order to get a, a better headline for the articles <laughs> that you ended up reading. He's, this guy's literally like playing the metagame of journalism right now. <laughs> Again, I think it's either one or two, but I'm gonna go with number one. It's A, the shortest one. There was a train that apologized and it made public headlines for leaving 30 seconds early. So I imagine 30 seconds is the cutoff for like, damn, you fucked up. So I'm gonna have to go with A, 18. An 18 second delay in between trains, that, that doesn't sound possible. I think it's actually gonna be sub minute. So I'm leaning towards 52 seconds. Okay, would you like to lock that in? No, because something's telling me it actually is 18 seconds and Japan is just that fucking <laughs> wild. I think I'm just gonna throw the Hail Mary. I'm going 18 seconds, I'm going A. My gut's telling me 18. And if we weren't, if I didn't just get the last two right, I would say 18, but I'm gonna just nix 18 because I feel too confident about it and I'm just stupid. And whatever I think is correct is never correct. Every time I've said D, it's been wrong. So I'm just gutting D. So we eliminated A and D. They're just factually not it. So that brings us to the middle. The answer to the last one was B, and I know you're not gonna make two answers in a row B, so it's clearly C. I'm locking in C. I think it's probably the lowest number, but there again, it could be a sneakeroony. So I'll go with A then. Because, well, I cannot be confident with the answer. I'm just gonna jump in and say it's C. When you're taking a test, at least in Japan, like growing up, when you don't know the answer, go with C. Like if you have the four <laughs> questions. I'm assuming Japan is a country all about efficiency. As minimal as possible, because Japan is very efficient. That is incorrect. <laughs> the answer was actually A, 18 oh, wow. seconds. I mean, I wouldn't consider that as delay. In the UK, it's like 18 minutes. The fact that it's a country of that many people and that's the average delay time is nuts. It was just so ridiculous for like someone who lives in, you know, America. It just won't show. And then a day later, they'll be like, yeah, we had a foxy woxy. Our guy just uh, did a crystal meth and quit. <laughs> and then you'll be like, oh, okay. I can't even wrap my head around how that's even possible. 
That efficiency is nuts. Yeah, they can do that, but they can't get rid of the fax machine. It's, it's truly a sad state we live in. And maybe the fax machines are what enables all of this to happen. Like, maybe they're the catalyst. Without the fax machine, Japan just fucking crumbles. I guess that is the downside of completely ignoring your gut and picking what you think is the absolute worst answer possible, is sometimes you pick the worst answer possible. <laughs> you figure out your trains. Fucking fax. I'm so happy. Let's go home. Now, as you know, Japan is an island country, and it is made up of islands. But how many islands does Japan have in total? A. 6 B. 12 C. 147 Or D. 6,852 The problem is what is considered an island, you know? And, and I, I would imagine you get a little loosey-goosey with it. I assume this includes uninhabited islands even. I would like to say that all of these islands are named and like officially like under Japanese law, they are owned by Japan. And I think majority of these are, are inhabited by people. Damn, okay, that sways me. I was, I was gonna go off the rockers. I was gonna go 6,000. This is normal multiple choice theory. You get rid of the outliers. I'm, I'm, let, let's cut one of the lows, one of the highs, and then let me flip a coin. Heads, I'm going low. Tails, I'm going high. 12, final answer. 6,852. Look, final answer. Do it. Oh my boy i am going to go with the outrageous answer i do think that probably similar to the last question this is one of those things where it's taken the approach that seems more like bombastic sensational so i'm gonna go with d what was that the third one that was like 100 or whatever c 147 yeah i'm gonna go with that one i'm gonna play it on the safer side i'm gonna try and like guess without going over you know price is right rules and say C. Wow, that last one is not even close to the others and I think that's either to lure out a dumb person like me or it's the right answer. We went pure goofball brain off on the last one and it worked, let's do it again. I'm going for 6,082 or whatever islands in Japan. What'd you have for breakfast? Uh, I just had a cup of coffee. <laughs> cup of coffee, both start with C. I'm going with C. Fuck it, I'll go with 12. I don't know. I don't know. Why am I getting <laughs> upset? I don't know. <laughs> Main irons are like five, and like all those small ones, um, because I'm very bad with, you know, making a hunch. I'm just gonna go with this biggest number. I'm gonna go with B12, lock it in. The answer was actually D, 6,852. Oh, you son of a bitch! You set me up! So, uh, how many islands are just like a rock? Well, they're counting that? I know for a fact that most of these are named, most of these are inhabited, and the reason why there are oh. so many is because in the southern part of Japan, off the coast of Kyushu and going down to Okinawa is where most of these islands lie. Basically, that entire area, there are so many small islands that are grouped together, it's basically an archipelago. I was thinking, like, uh, like when I watched Code Geass, and, and they constantly, like, show the world map, and I have this distinct picture of them showing a zoomed-out Japan, and I was just like, yeah, I didn't see 6,000 islands on that map. There's not 6,000. That's also what I was thinking in my head. Oh, my God. I can't believe Code Geass lied to you, like, that. Yes, jumping on the rock. This is my hat, my, my winner's king hat. Before the crown comes in the post, I've got this hat to see me through. Yes! I passed barely! Hey! I knew it. It was such a crazy number. I should have just gone for it. I, I'm not trusting my gut on this one. Fuck! You talked me out of it! I didn't talk you out of it. I said I merely stated the fact that most of these are named and most of these are inhabited. Dude, I was I so said. ready to run that one. And then you were like, well, let me just tell you. <laughs> you fell for my trap. You didn't want me on top. You didn't want me to get the respect. I get it. I get it. I cannot. Uh, all right. I'm glad I went with that. That's crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> How in the fuck? Thank you, Joey. You've made a very happy king. Thank you so much for having me 
take this quiz. I'm so glad that I could make you proud. This was fun. Thank you for having me out. I appreciate it. Domo, domo, domo. Thanks for having me. This is great. This is a very fun video. This is a very good idea. Thank you for having me. Thanks for having me on. It was really fun. I appreciate you having me on and uh, it was a pleasure. This was fun, man. Thank you for having me on. Thank you so much for including me. Thank you for having me. So there you have it, guys. How many points did you score? If you scored 10 out of 10 or 1 out of 10, it doesn't really matter because again, as I said in the video, hopefully with every wrong question that you got, you're one fat smarter about Japan for the next time or the first time you come and visit the country. Goes without saying that this video took a very, very, very long time to prepare and make and really get right. So first of all, big, big, big shout out to all of the YouTubers and Twitch streamers that came onto this video to show off and flaunt their Japan knowledge or lack thereof. I'm sure I don't have to go tell you guys this, but links to everybody who was in this video is down in the description below. So please go and check them out. And again, let me know in the comments below if you were playing along, how many points did you score? And how did you compare to the YouTubers and Twitch streamers I brought onto this video? Because if there's one purpose that this video serves is that from now on, if you did play along, then you can legitimately say that you know more about Japan than X YouTuber or X Twitch streamer. So uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely want to do more of these kinds of videos again. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below. This was a lot of fun to make. I love making quiz videos and stuff like that. You guys love watching them and it's a fun educational time all around. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And if you'd like to support your boy in future collaborations and ideas and projects on this channel, then support me over on my Patreon, Patreon com slash the anime man links down in the description below and thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one like your favorite if you enjoyed subscribe for anime banter keep watching anime johnny